Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin the repair, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Your first step is to remove the starter rope from the rope guide. Next, remove the screws to release the engine cover. Feed the starter handle through the cover and set the cover aside. Now remove the screws securing the gas tank and move the gas tank aside. Be aware that some gasoline may spill out. Next, remove the mounting screw securing the dipstick tube and remove the tube from the engine. Keep in mind that some engine oil may spill. Remove the bolt securing the blower housing and pull the housing off. Next, pull the starter rope all the way out and insert a small screwdriver to secure the rewind spring and pulley while you remove the knot at the rope's end. Set the rope aside and remove the screwdriver to release any tension that may be left on the spring. Loosen the center bolt to release the friction plate and remove the old rewind spring and pulley from the housing. Install the new rewind spring and pulley by aligning the spring hook with the housing post. Rotate the pulley to make sure the spring is engaged. Now transfer the ratchet pawls from the old pulley to the new one. Position the friction plate and tighten the bolt. Rotate the pulley counterclockwise approximately five times to tighten the spring. Use the screwdriver to secure the pulley as you insert the starter rope. Tie a knot to secure the rope. Remove the screwdriver, but hold the pulley securely. Now slowly release the tension on the spring and allow the rope to wind around the pulley. Position the blower housing on the engine and secure the bolts. Carefully insert the dipstick tube into the engine sump and secure the mounting screw. Reposition the gas tank and reinstall the screws. Feed the starter handle through the engine cover. Then align the cover and secure it with the screws. Loop the starter rope onto the guide and reattach the spark plug wire and boot.